Hi, Mark Lux, Extension Weed Scientist at Ohio State University. I am at the OERDC Western Ag Research Station in South Charleston, standing in, in our spring barley uh, research. We've got a study going on um, looking at a couple different barley planting dates and a variety of herbicide treatments to kind of determine uh, what kind of weed control needs and what kind of herbicides are needed in spring barley and what the crop response is, uh, and then ultimately, hopefully, uh, yield. So I'm standing in the barley that was planted uh, early April, and one of the things about um, barley and crops that can go in that early is generally the earlier you can put them in, the more competitive they're going to be with most of the weeds that you're going to deal with that season. Because um, you're going to either deal with, um, you're going to deal primarily with summer annual weeds, ragweeds, lambs, quarter, foxtails, and weeds like that. It's the same principle that applies to alfalfa and, and other forages. The later you get in spring, you're starting to plant right when they're all emerging, and so they're going to be more competitive. So. Um, there's actually a fair amount of foxtail down in here. The treatments that we have are some Sharpen at two ounces, which is primarily a broadleaf herbicide. Um, then Sharpen followed by um, post-emergence herbicides and the post-emergence herbicides alone. Um, and the post-emergence herbicides do have, we have some uh, axial products that have some activity on uh, foxtail. So we're trying to determine if Sharpen alone, you know, will do it, if you can tolerate the, the grasses that come up in there. And one of the things that you can uh, tell here um, especially if you look down in there, is there's a fair amount of foxtail in here. The sharpens holding the broadleaves, and then we get into some plots that were just sprayed today that do have broadleaf weeds. But the but the barley, because it was planted early, is gen just generally out competing these these pretty well. It's not to say that if we come back a little bit later in the season, which we will, uh, because we're rating this several different times, that you know some of these won't be poking above the barley uh, or being competitive. But you know that's one of the that's sort of. Uh, general principle number one that if you can uh, plant the barley earlier and get it going you're going to have more competition um, with the weeds that are weeds that are emerging and broadleaf weeds in a grass crop broadleaf weeds are always the easy ones to control you have a lot of different options and we'll have some data coming off this so we can share grasses are, are your difficulty really you only have a couple products labeled for barley that will actually control foxtail post emergence and really nothing from a residual standpoint that controls foxtail that's certainly going to be uh, one of your issues. So, you know, it's, it's, we're trying to tell whether the, the barley can outcompete the foxtail effectively enough without a post herbicide. Um, and then um, differences among some treatments in terms of broadleaf control, I think ultimately we'll probably get uh, good control from a, a bunch of those, and it'll be a matter of whether any of them injure the barley or we have any yield differences.